Hi, I'm Natalia. I'm a product manager at Argila and an expert in the design and management of annotation projects. Today, I want to walk you through a tutorial to show you how to build your own demonstration dataset to fine-tune large language models, also known as LLMs. The aim of demonstration datasets is to show the LLM what is the behavior we expect from it. You can build this dataset from scratch, collecting a series of prompts and outputs from your annotation team. But in this example, I'll show you how to curate a public dataset like Dolly to make the process a bit quicker. If you want to learn more about how to work with LLMs, I suggest you go to our documentation where you will find some guides that will help you understand all of these concepts. And also in the example section, you will find an extended version of this tutorial that you can execute in Colab directly. For this tutorial, you will need to have an Argila server running. So if you don't have one already, I suggest you go to our quick start or installation pages to set up yours. Once you do, you can open any Jupyter notebook and start following this tutorial. In my case, I've set up an Argila space in Hugging Face Spaces. Let's see this at full screen. Okay, so now I can go to a notebook and start writing code. So I will give a name to my notebook and I will start by installing all the libraries we will need for this tutorial. Okay, now let's import them. Okay, now we can connect to our Argila instance to do that. I'll just use the rg.init method. I copy over my URL. And with my API key, I'm already connected to Argila. Okay, now it's time to define our annotation task. We're going to use Argila's feedback task for this tutorial because it allows to include multiple fields in our record cards and also ask multiple questions. You'll see what I mean in a bit. So to start with, Let's find the public data set that we want to curate. In my case, I want to search for Databricks Dolly data set. Okay, here is the data set that I want to use, this Databricks Dolly 15K curated multilingual. And I want to continue curating the English version of this data set. So to do that, I'm just going to copy this here and go back to my note. Okay, we're loading the English split of this data set. Okay, now this is ready. We can start taking a look at our data. Okay, so for our project, we want to make sure that the instruction, the context, and the response are all formulated clearly and concisely, and of course that they provide correct information. So we will add those three to our records. The category will also help our, our annotators know uh, what this field should look like. So we will add that too. We will also keep the ID so we can identify the records easily on post-processing. But this original, uh, the original text for each of the fields, we're going to drop them uh, for now. 
So now that we know how our records should look like, let's format them as Argilla records. I will make a list where I add my records. Okay, now we have all our fields. Let's save the ID. And let's add the record to our list. Perfect. I'll also uh, make the settings for the fields in our record cards now, since we already formatted all of these records and we know exactly what we want to see in there. So. Um, we'll go with a list of fields. Okay, we have our list of fields and I've added some titles to make some of them like more recognizable or clearer for our annotation team to know what they expect to, to see in there. Now we can think of the questions that we would like to ask about these records and the guidelines that we will provide uh, for the annotation team. In this case, I will ask them to provide a final version for the instruction, the input or context, and the response. If they find that the original fields were okay, they can just copy paste them. Okay, so as you can see, I have here my list of questions. I also gave them a bit more descriptive titles, but now for our annotators to really have a bit of more thorough guidelines for this task, we're also going to add some descriptions to these questions that they can later find in a tooltip in the UI for further context. So to do that, I have here some notes uh, that I will use as my annotation guidelines. So copy them. Okay, and also some guidelines. Okay, now that we have our records and the settings of our data set, we are ready to push our feedback data set to Argila. If you have a team of annotators, this is the time to think whether you want to split the workload among your teammates, or if you'd like all the members of your team to annotate the whole dataset. Once you know how you'd like to organize your team, 
check out our docs to learn more about how to divide and import your data set depending on your specific setup. But for the sake of this tutorial, we will assume that this is a split that will be annotated by one of our annotators only. So we simply create and configure an Argila dataset at the records, and then we push to Argila. Okay, now we can add our records. And finally push to Argila. Okay, so now we're ready to start the feedback collection in Argila's UI. I will go to my space. I will refresh. My data set is here. I have logged in as an annotator. And now I can open the data set and start my annotation. First, it's important that uh, we make sure that we read and understand the annotation guidelines. So let's take a look. We also have some information about how to fill in the questions in the tooltips with the descriptions that I added before. And we can start with the task. So closed Q&A is a question where um, Questions can be answered using only the information contained in a passage or reference text. So, when did Virgin Australia start operating? According to this text, Virgin Australia started operating on 31st August 2000 as Virgin Blue. So, all of this looks mostly okay. The two are craft on a single route. Um, I will delete this information. This looks okay. Which is a species of fish? To or rope. Um, in my guidelines, it says that for classification tasks, the items to be classified should appear in the input field. So I'm going to change this. And submit. Okay, when can camels survive for long without water? This looks okay. Alice's parents have three daughters, Amy, Jessie, and what's the name of the third daughter? The name of the third daughter is Alice. Good. Another closed QA. When was Tomoaki Komorida born? Uh, was born on July 10th, 1981. Input looks okay. The response looks okay.
Okay, let's say that I don't feel very confident about how to uh, respond to this specific record. So according to my guidelines, I'm going to hit this card. So I don't need to give an answer to it. Um, let's see if we can find something. Look, this one looks like it needs a bit of rewriting. So why mobile is bad for humans? Why are mobile phones bad for humans? They're always engaged on phone, which is not good. Um, okay, let's say I want to rewrite this. Let's say that I want to find some records that I might feel more comfortable responding to. So I'm going to introduce a search here. Um, I'm from Spain, so I would say that I can respond very confidently to most things related to Spain. So let's check. Tell me whether these cities are in Spain or France. Okay. We said that they should be in the input. Okay. Pamplona, Spain, Valencia, Spain, Nice, France, Marseille, France, Paris, France, Sevilla, Spain. Yeah, that looks okay. Are these places in the United States or Spain? California, U.S., New Mexico, U.S., Andalusia, Spain, Catalonia, Spain, Utah, U.S., Madrid, Spain, Texas, U.S. Okay. Who was the Prime Minister of Spain when Spain joined NATO? Um, uh, Spain, Spain joined NATO by referendum in 1986. The Prime Minister of Spain at the time was Felipe González. Yeah, that looks okay. All right. I'm going to check. I've annotated 10 records. I'm going to leave this here for now. But of course, uh, for your annotation task, you'll probably want to not stick to a single search, but annotate a wide variety of questions with very different types of answers. But Let's go back to our notebook. Okay, so now our annotation is over and you have a curated demonstration data set ready to fine tune your LLM. In the docs, you will find uh, guides on how to fine tune an LLM with your data from Argila and also an extended tutorial where we explain how you can do some analysis on the feedback you just collected in this annotation task and how to do some post-processing on the data if needed. Uh, but before we go, I want to show you as an optional step how to publish your data set so that the open source community can benefit from it. So if you haven't done so, connect to your Argila instance as we did at the start of this tutorial. And let's also log in to Hugging Face. Let's find our token. Okay, login was successful, so I'm going to ignore this error message. So first, I'm going to load the 
annotated data set in uh, my notebook. Okay, and now we can directly push this data set to Hugging Face. Okay, my data set should be already in my Hugging Face data sets. And it's here. I've also created, thanks to Argila, a dataset card that has all the information about my dataset and the annotation guidelines that we followed to create that dataset. So this is now ready to use by the open source community. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you still need help, please check out our documentation and join our Slack community. See you there.